All right, welcome back to On One Photo Raw 2020. And today we're going to take a look at the effects and presets inside of the program. Now, to get to the effects or presets, first we can come over here and click Effects. And that's going to bring up this little Add button. But to see the effects, we want to come all the way over, way down here, and click on this and bring back this panel. Now we have two different options. We have presets and we have filters. So presets are a combination of filters usually. So what we're gonna do is take a look at the filters first and then take a look at the presets and how to adjust them. Now the filters are subdivided into categories in which they fit in. First of all, we have a favorites and the favorites, you can click on that and it will have the items that you favorited and you favorite something by clicking a little heart in it and it's gonna show you that effect. It looks like right at this moment, I have some vignettes and a border and to get back out of it, I'll just click this arrow and go back out. So we'll click on antique and it, what it's gonna do is bring up a set of different effects. So let's say we want to take a look at this green filter right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And what that's gonna do, it's going to apply that filter to this image. It's just showing you a preview. It's never actually changing the data or changing the information. What you're seeing is just a preview of it. Now we can lower the opacity of that. So over here we have opacity and I can come over here and I can lower the opacity of that at any time or I can bring it back up. I can also add a mask, so hide and show mask options, and in here are the mask, and I can go ahead and click show, and inside of that, it's gonna give me a whole bunch of other options inside of here. So notice that we also have a neutral, a warm, a cool, a red, and you can click on over here if there are more, or if you wanna save something, or if you want to update or do anything like that. Right here are the different colors that we can pick from. So I can come in here and as I hover over them, it's gonna show us those different effects and different colors that are located in here. And let's go with Istanbul, I think that looks pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. Now, once I've selected that antique look, I can come in here and adjust any of this stuff. So I can adjust the brightness, adjust the fade, adjust the saturation, adjust the amount of film grain look or the size to the film grain that we have. Now some have more options than others. If I wanna add a mask to it, I can come up here and click on the little mask. And just like before, white is showing everything with the filter and black will hide it. So if I come up here, notice we've got paint out. If I want to remove that from the sand, I'm just basically gonna paint over the sand and it is removing that amount from this image. Now, sometimes you might not want to remove it totally. So I'm gonna hit Command Z to undo what we did here. And up here in the brush, notice we've got our size of our brush, our feather of our brush. We've also got something called opacity. So I can lower the opacity of my brush Instead of removing 100% of that, I can make it so it removes just 40% of it. So you do have a lot of control of how these different filters are applied to your image. Now, once you're happy with that, you can just go ahead and hit done and it'll apply that filter to it. You can just click out to remove the filter if you don't wanna do it. You can also just click on something completely different. So I can come over here and click on warm and it's gonna remove what I just did there and apply the new settings or I'll hit command Z to kind of go one step back in time and go back to where I was. Now, if you wanna add a second filter to it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit add filter and then it's gonna bring up this little box and it's gonna ask you which one of these filters that you wanna add. These are exactly the same these are exactly the same options that you have over here. So to add a new filter, I just wanna basically come over here, click add filter, and then pick what I wanna to do to it. So in this case, let's add a border. So I can click on the borders and it's gonna bring up my borders over here. 
and all the border information. And you'll notice the antique is down here and now we have a new adjustment or filter on top of this. So I can scroll through here and try to find some different filters. I'll click on this little 120 dirty filter so we can see what that looks like. And that's showing what this filter looks like over that antique filter that we applied before. Now we have the option to narrow down the borders. So if I'm looking for just white borders or if I just want sloppy borders, I can click on slop. So when we quick click here, it's gonna switch the category to here. If I want an instant frame like for like Instagram look, I can do that. So it's giving us film. The border is called film instant too. And if I click on that, it's gonna give us some other options. So if I wanted this 35 millimeter dirty, I could click on that 35 millimeter dirty. If I don't like that, I can definitely come in here and try some other ones. So let's go ahead at medium format dirty and see what that looks like. And that's giving us the medium format dirty look. Anything that you want to do. Now they're applied. This one is applied by hard light. So you can change your blending modes. Once again, you can change the opacity and you can also change the brightness, the saturation, the shoe. You can invert it. You can colorize it. You can do anything that you want. You can also come down here and transform the size of the border so we can make the border larger so it just fits over the image and we don't see as much of it or we can make it so it's much smaller. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can obviously change any of that information. Right here, we can rotate the border so I can rotate it around. I can flip it vertically. I can flip it horizontally. And then this little thing is to fit to canvas. So you have a lot of control. Don't forget, just like anything else, we can even change the mask. So I can click on this and change the way that this is applied to this image. Now you have an unlimited amount of these filters that you can apply to any image. All I need to do to add a new one is like add filter and it's gonna add a new filter. Once you're done, you can just come down here and say done and it's gonna apply all that information to your image. So it's saving those settings to this image. Remember, it's not actually applying it, it's just saving the settings to the image. Now we're back here in the browse function. If I wanna go back in and edit this, I'm gonna come up here, click edit, and then we're gonna go right back into the edit window just like we did before. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit reset all. The next thing that we have is the option to use what's called presets. So presets are a combination of different effects. So in this case, let's say we wanna make this look, have this black and white modern feel. I can come over here and I can click on this and it's gonna show us previews of what this looks like. Now this can be a little bit difficult to see in these teeny tiny images sometimes what the different looks look like. If you want to see them larger, you can come up here and click on this little icons. And what it will do is it will show you your image with these different looks that we have. So these are all in the modern section and we are just let this go ahead and load up really quickly. And then we have all these different looks. So let's say that we like this one right here. I can click on B15 and it's gonna apply that preset to the image. So this preset, if I click on effects over here, notice that this is the combination of filters that make up this preset. So over here we have a black and white, a glow, a tone enhancer, and a vignette. If you want to adjust any of these, all you need to do is click on it. So if I want to adjust because I don't like how this vignette is working, I can hit show. And I can either click on the opacity to lower the opacity of just this one simple area. This is the opacity of everything here. This is for just this one effect. So I can lower that, I can change it, I can uh, manipulate it however I want. Once I'm done, I can go ahead and either close that or open it. If I want to change tone enhancer, all I got to do is click on the tone enhancer. I can change the way the tone enhancer works. If I want to come up here, I can change the black and white and adjust how the black and white affects the image. Now, I can't go through every single preset and filter inside of On One Photo Raw. This is something where you need to play around with them and see what you like. If this ends up being something that you like, all you need to do is come up here and click this little heart button. 
Now I can click on this. I can go over to my favorites and now notice there's a B4 saved as my favorites under presets. You have two different favorites. You have a filters favorites and you have a presets favorites. You need to make sure that when you're saving these, you remember where they go. So if you're saving a preset favorite, it's going to only be in the favorites for presets. If you go to filters, your filter favorites are only going to save in your filters favorites. So you have two different options. So one of mine that I use a lot is this thin mint. I can click on thin mint and it will automatically apply it to this image just like that. So that is basically how you use filters and presets inside of on one photo raw. This program has some of the absolute best filters and presets that I've ever seen. If you're looking for other presets or filters, there's plenty of people out there making custom presets for this program. And it's really easy to import or download them. Sometimes on one photo raw offers them. Sometimes it's a third party person. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.